Gary, you know what would be one of my MMA dream matches right now? Well, not right now. Maybe when you're like a little bit more ahead in your career and have mm. a little bit more experience. You and Cron Gracie. Oh, please. I'll take that fight any fucking day. I don't need yeah. more MMA experience for that guy. Absolutely not. I mean, yeah, you're right. Like your stand-up, I, I think, is, is better than his. I mean, don't get me wrong. I buy He's a no tough dude. son of a bitch, though like where I want to be with MMA and I'm always going to say I'm always going to think that on some level but like between me between me and him like I think I've surpassed him in jiu-jitsu I've surpassed him in MMA like I don't think he's got anything for me I think if he did he would have taken I've given him opportunities to fight me I've given him opportunities to have grappling matches with me he doesn't want any of that shit he took his victory back in 2013 and he doesn't want this shit. If he did, he doesn't want the smoke, he would be huh? Knocking at my door because you know how many people want that match to happen. People have been begging him to try to make that match happen forever. People that got money that would throw any any dollar amount at him, he'll just fucking knock the number higher. He doesn't want any of this. Make it so, impossible. One day, one day, I hope, man. We'll see. It all depends. Um, you know, the, uh, he just lost, I think, recently in the UFC. Cub Swanson. Uh, I don't think he'll get thrown away, thrown out because he has value. No, not at all. He has uh, no, value in terms of like a following. He, and he's he a, lost he's a one match. Oh. Cub yeah. Swanson's That's good. It. Cub Swanson's really yeah, good. I mean, you say, you say he lost one match, but like, that's sometimes that's a death sentence in the UFC. You literally never know. Yeah, like, dude, but anybody. it was a barn barn burner, bro. They stood yeah. up the whole time. No sure. one. I, I thought it was no jujitsu. Um, they were throwing caution to the wind, dude. <laughs> but uh, yeah, man, I think he'll stay. He'll be around for a while. Uh, I don't think uh, I don't think he's gonna get like taken uh, taken out or uh, before uh, uh, we would have a chance to fight. But we'll see. What are your predictions? If you no. were ever to step up in, in the cage with him. Um. I think I probably, I think I would probably just control him and TKO him uh, after a period of time. I don't, and pound his I don't ass. like to say that I'd knock somebody out because I've never done that before, so yeah. it's hard for me to uh, just say that just without quiet. actually doing it. Um, yeah. But I, I definitely believe I could uh, just TKO him on the ground. Uh, I don't know if I'd even bother trying to submit him because he's good at defending submissions. So I just keep yeah. punching him in the face as he tries to escape. I think that's a very fair assessment. I think I like that's that. a very fair assessment, especially when like the internet says that you have pillow hands. So, <laughs> yeah, I think that's that's pretty good. Got me all excited, man. I'm sorry, I amped up. No, dude, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love the enthusiasm. I hope it fucking happens. I do. Mm -hmm. So Dana, if you're listening to this, <laughs> to this podcast, make it happen. On the island tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs>